Hey folks, in today's short video I'm going to share some ideas in terms of how and what do you do when people are hurtful towards you. My name is Coop Blackson, nationally best-selling author of You Are The One. So what do you do? You know, it's never pleasant, right? When People in your life, whether you know them, maybe they're a family member and you love them, and if you love them, it can be even more painful, or maybe they're an acquaintance, they're on social media, they're a friend, they're a coworker. When people in your life are spiteful towards you, maybe they attack you, they gossip about you, they're hurtful towards you, they're out of integrity in the way they're dealing with you, maybe they betray you, maybe they cheat you, maybe whatever it is that they're doing, if they do something towards you that is hurtful, that is negative, that is not positive so to speak as a human being we're all human beings you have feelings you have emotions it's painful right it's painful and it's natural as a human being often to want to get revenge it's natural as a human being to want to pay them back to show them to crush them to prove to them but realize that when someone does something negative towards you when someone trespasses against you to simply return the same energy is to simply bring yourself down to that level and ultimately you keep yourself at that level and nothing ever gets truly resolved by going down in the swamp at that level you know you not only pull yourself back down to that level you keep yourself stuck so consider this if someone does something bad or negative or painful or spiteful or hurtful or out of integrity towards you it is not your job to repay them it is not your job to get revenge it is not your job to go out of your way and spend your time and energy to hurt them back this is to give them power over you when you could be taking your energy your reference your focus your creativity and focusing it on someone else or somewhere else or where you really want to go instead of this person I'm going to propose that nothing or no one is worth your freedom especially someone that doesn't respect you that doesn't honor you that doesn't love you hurt people hurt people so realize that they're hurting you they're gossiping about you they're cheating you this is often it's not personal they're coming from fear they're coming from their own insecurity so they project they're coming from their own pain they're coming from their own scarcity it's not really about you the sad thing is it may have been directed towards you it wasn't really about you so don't take it personally realize it's really more about them and don't get caught up in their own negativity don't get caught up in their own mediocrity don't get caught up in their own smallness recognize that secondly I would suggest that when people do painful things towards you remember you cannot cheat the universe so even though you might say but Coop it's not fair no one knows Coop it's not fair people people perceive them a certain way or everyone loves them they're getting away with it realize that how they feel within themselves will catch up to them realize that you cannot cheat the universe so everything you put out karma will come back to you and it may not always come back to you in the way you put it out so it, it's not your job to repay that karma the universe will will solve it for them resolve it because the energy that they have put out towards you will come back to them some other way let life handle it don't stoop to their level and bring yourself down and detract from your happiness the universe will solve it and so your job is to stay focused your job is if you can actually turn the other cheek and respond with compassion turn the other cheek and respond with love you then elevate yourself out of that dynamic out of that relationship out of that situation and you kind of transcend graduate and earn the right to the next level of your life you see ultimately everything in life is a mirror you attract to your mirror manifestation of yourself the people you attract the experiences you attract the circumstances you attract the mirroring aspects of yourself that you most need to heal learn embrace uh, integrate so if someone's showing up in your life and maybe they're being they're cheating they're betraying they're being negative towards you in some way don't focus on them focus on yourself take your power back focus on yourself and ask yourself what are they reflecting to me about myself when you learn the lesson for perhaps why you attracted that situation in the first place doesn't make it okay doesn't make it right 
when you learn the lesson you, you, that is not about them, that is more about a dynamic within yourself, you begin to also transcend and graduate the experience that this person is show up, showing up in your life to represent. Don't focus on the person and don't get engaged with the person because then you just keep, you just stay stuck there. Learn the lesson, transcend and send them love. That challenging person, that difficult person, that, that person that is doing that thing that is perhaps painful or out of integrity, I propose that they are your soul's gift. They are your soul's opportunity to grow and evolve. They are a gift wrapped in disguise. They are angels in disguise sent to you to force you to practice your spirituality, to practice your, your personal development. They are sent to you to force your soul to evolve so that you can learn the lessons and become the person that you need to be so that you can fulfill your ultimate destiny. They are your gurus. They are your teacher. They are your yoga. They are your spiritual practice. So bless them, but you may bless them, love them, send them love, send their souls love because their personalities might, might be out of integrity, but they're still a soul. So don't just see them as this person that's doing something wrong, although maybe they are. See the soul in them. The greatest gift, the greatest revenge is to be able to see the soul in them and send them love. To me, this is profound. Now, on a human level, if they're being toxic, if they're being disrespectful, if they're being out of integrity, if they're cheating, if they're whatever it is, you still may have to, in this three physical human world, set your boundary and say, that is not okay. You still may have to take them to court. You still may have to take certain physical actions in the real world in order to set the situation and the circumstance straight. But when you learn the lesson, you realize it's not personal, then you can do so from a whole different place inside of yourself. You can do so without getting attached. You can do so without losing your balance. You can do so without taking it personally. You can do so from a free place inside of yourself. Then you can truly stay free, take action, honor yourself without collapsing and contracting into some sort of you know, suffering and pain. You still may need to take action. You still may need to set the boundary. By all means, I'm not saying stand in a negative, toxic, painful, abusive situation and just say, oh, I'm just going to love you. I, you might say, I need to love you from afar. I need to, you might need to tell them, I need to love you, but we can't be together anymore. I need to love you, but we're breaking up. I love you, but I'll never, be in, I'll never physically be around you. And I love, I love you, and that wasn't okay. And I'm taking you to court for this situation. So you still have to handle, it's a paradox. We are all souls evolving, but you also still need to handle the real world situations. Ultimately, that is love too. To actually on one level hold people accountable for certain actions is a form of love. However, you don't have to spend your internal energy. I'm not talking about external actions. Your internal energy in anger, in resentment, in frustration, in attack. This just makes you a slave to that person and this gives that other person power over you that they do not deserve. Recognize that no one has the power over you unless you give it to them. So take it back, learn your lesson, take it back, deal with your inner pain, hurt, resentment and lessons, free yourself and you will begin to attract a whole different kind of person, situation and relationship in your life. Ultimately use everything and every situation and everyone for your soul's growth and evolution. Hey folks, if you enjoyed this short video, please share it with your friends and family uh, and make sure you follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Ku Blackson, I'll see you there. Love now.